Okay. Uh, time to get down. Hey, good looking. Hey, thanks, girlfriend. Well, we've discovered something interesting. Let's explore the rest of this potter's place. And maybe go over there? I'm worried that means trouble. Up to. Up and doing. Okay. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. What what did I just click on? What did I just click on? What did I just succeed on? Oh, it's a trap. I clicked on a trap. Well, it's disarmed now, fuckers. Ooh. Ooh la la. Harper, da -da, farm, liar paws. I said, write that down. Okay, this seems like a torture thing. Hmm. And a traveler's chest. Ooh. Hello. Gotta lockpick everything I see. It is a legal requirement. The right tool will do the trick. Always bless me. <sighs> Today's been a good day, guys. My room smells like peppermint. I got the lighting good. Good shit. Good shit. Hey, okay, I wonder what I got. Ooh. Ring of Twilight. While obscure. That's something Astarian would love. He loves being obscure. Alright. These boots have nothing seen else everything. in this area. Let's I guess let before we cross over, let's go around a little bit, right? Cause we wanna make sure we cover all the ground. I, I'm afraid of going too deep and one missing something, but also ooh, another heavy chest. Holy shit! Sure. Which is rust. Got it. What's that over there? That looks like the monster. How close are we to the Moonrise Tower now? Okay, this is the Moonrise Tower direction. So I might want to slow the fuck down and turn around in a minute. Might be useful. I still don't know what to use these sacks for. It's just sacks of- the sack of uh, bullshit forest gunk. It's something. Uh, stop, stop. I'm stop, fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's ride. Everyone failed the survival check. That terrifies me. Eh. Uh huh. You know. This is, it's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure this is fine. Everyone failing a survival check means nothing. It's this good. This is a battlefield. An old one, but still. I can, uh, yeah, definitely battlefield feeling. The price of pride. Hey. Thorns beats troops before the victory over the druids. Take this, take all those. Take it, go and refer to me. Against the group of fools. Let them be our bank vault. Let's raid them. Okay, someone did something stupid in this forest. No shit. 
We'll figure it out. We'll do it. We'll get rid of it. I'm I'm probably gonna side with the druids. I know last time in this game the druids were assholes. But I swear, like nine times out of ten, the druids are they're they're okay guys. Nine times out of ten. There's that one percent when they're um assholes who uh, want to bring about the age of storm or something like that. But usually. Oh, thank you, lady. I am having a great time and a good day. Everything seems to be going my way. Yeah. Hmm. There's something up here. I think. And I'm not sure what. And it's probably a bad idea to check, but gosh darn it, I can't help myself. I'm tempted by an overwhelming curiosity. Weapons like this have been out of use for a hundred years. Oh, I'm too- I'm- I, I, my jump ain't that jumpy. Oh, never mind, we're good. We're good. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Ah, I mean, we all could. Marching? Yeah, yeah, marching. Hmm, nothing really here, even it with all this battleground shit. Open up. I don't know what's gonna open up to though. Oh shit. Okay. Let's see. Hop. Step. Jump. Un un de yo. God, I miss Sugar Chera. It was the one of the animes that was dubbed that I could could watch. A lot of animes in retrospect just could not be bothered to dub. It was very sad for me. I was always behind on the animes. On the animes. I think that's why I grew out of them a little bit. Not because they aren't beautiful and perfect in so many ways, but because I just could not bother uh, with waiting. With everything to finally translate for me. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that just leads back. There's a little bit of section of the grove I wanna check out, but otherwise we're going. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I already killed that. We're good. So right here's the, this little hut's the only thing that I haven't really explored in this area. God, this forest is actually pretty quiet. Oh, I have explored this. Perfect. Let's let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. I want to be over here. Yeah, there's a lot of cringe with anime. I think my most cringe in retrospect uh, anime that I probably watched was uh, in retrospect I didn't realize that it was a ha harem porno porno anime but I was just a young girl who just really wanted to see a bunch of monsters <laughs> there's this anime uh, there's two of, there's actually two of them in retrospect <laughs> uh, oh I forgot about this glowing area. Lost my phone. Ooh, la la. Ooh. True soul, meaning they're my enemy. I think Floor's gonna do this. This is gonna work out. Sure. I hope they do. Guide you right into your ass, Give kid. Me. But yeah, I think one of the mo uh, the most uh, cringe animes I've ever witnessed was probably um, the one that most disappointed me. Uh, Rosiar, Ro Rosara, Ro is it Rosary plus Vampire? I, I'm just gonna say Rosary plus Vampire. I'm so sorry. I think it, it might have been Rosara, Rosara, 
or something like that. Which I've actually read. I was like, I didn't notice how like horribly like panty shot covered it was until later in my life, and how creepy like uh, um, some of the romance relationships were, specifically with the young witch. And I think part of the reason why I got rose-covered glasses for that entire anime was that I read the manga as well because I was like so into a monster school. That sounds amazing to me because the entire concept is a monster school. I'm pretty we actually had this conversation, lady. Yeah, the entire concept of going to a monster school, I mean... Uh, I think the younger generation has Monster High, which is a much healthier version, but I was like real into that. Uh, so when, um, okay, I think this is when they're going to be like, you can't keep, go forward. We're talking about poorly aged anime. Yes, we are. Rosaria, Rosaria plus vampire. Honestly, even at the time was cringy because the, the romance the harem uh, stuff between the little girl that I rage kicked. The only part was honestly, which is entirely fair, lady. Uh, I will say I had rose covered grasses for it, and then I, I then I read the manga for it, and then I re rewatched the anime, and that was the moment I realized, oh. The anime is absolute garbage. The manga has shitty moments that are shady, but the anime just like, let's just do everything. Okay, we can't go there. Good to know. But it did seem cringy. It was, I stand by the, um, I stand by the anime being uh, the absolute worst, but the manga being okay. And I will stand by it with the fact that it was the first manga that I ever saw when I was a young child that had lesbianism in it. And it was a little bit uh, cringy at first, but they they made it, they did it in an interesting way. And it, it probably... I will, I do this with, I, I, write, I say it's a good uh, manga with the caveat that it's probably not aged as well as I remember, considering the anime used it as a source That's material and the anime is absolute garbage, but it's still so, ooh, I think I found a secret. Oh my God, I found a secret. Oh, hello secrets. But still with the idea in mind that uh, basically, it was a harem anime, but the entire concept was every single the in the manga. But what the anime got uh, failed to what the manga understood is the anime was just a harem anime that has like everyone's a monster, while uh, the anim uh, the manga was like everyone. Uh, it's gonna start. Uh, it's do it follows all the harem tropes, but. Then it's like, oh, and everyone's immediately going to fall out. We forgive so much for the tiniest bit of representation, honestly. Um, uh, the anime, absolute garbage, like I said. Not, no, nothing. Um, but what the anime does is, the, uh, not the anime, shit, I keep saying anime. Uh, what the manga does that uh, the anime fails is uh, a, like not even like a quarter way through the manga when you think things are going to start getting harem like it turns everything on its heel and says no uh, harems are bad uh, this is unhealthy for everyone and the truth of the matter is no one's actually in love with the main protagonist they just like the idea of the safety that he provides and even if they're and they need to realize that they're the ones protecting him and in putting him on this pedestal you have made it so you are constantly hurting him and the entire idea of a harem 
around this boy is toxic. And again, you're just in love with the idea of, of, of someone coming to save you. You're the one constantly saving. He's not a bad dude, but in this, uh, by making this fictitious uh, version of him, you have actually physically scarred this boy, which was just a fascinating turn heel. Plus, for one reason or another, Exactly, which is why I enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed the turn. I wouldn't recommend the anime for anyone who's like, does not even, can't even stomach. Turn back. Hang stick. Turn back now. But maybe I could. Yeah, I can. Shit. So, anyway, my point is, it would, I, if you can stomach that shit, I do think it's a good anime because like, okay, the first, the main protagonist has, uh, the vampire and the main, for the main protagonist basically has two different personas caused by a curse on her family. Just painfully bad humor. I agree entirely, which is why I really enjoyed all of the romance, all of the, the harem immediately was like, uh, well, not immediately came to a realization that they just want to be friends. They don't want this romantic rivalry. They are putting people on a pedestal. They are making things toxic. They are literally hurting the main character and they have more worth than they actually present themselves as. Um, which is, I found hilarious. They also, another thing they did, they did two things that I thought were cool. They did that and then they added Again, this is kind of a fake harem, but they added a gay man to the harem, which I absolutely enjoy. A gay mafia man. So that was funny. And, uh, um, <clears throat> and they, instead of what ended up happening was two of the people who were romantic rivals, uh, one of them was only a romantic rival because they were like, uh, because, uh, they were like, Oh, it's my species do job to do this, so I have to do this. But once they were like, you know what, fuck that. Why Why do I follow old traditions? They were like, you know what? I'm going, uh, instead of being your, uh, the romantic rival between two of the girls, they became love interests with each other. Not a member of the game, Mafia. <laughs> exactly. It The anime completely skipped that and instead just did creepy upskirt shots. It was awful. Hmm. What's that? absolutely awful i know the manga to my memory didn't do any upskirt shot it was just the anime i swear to god it was huh should i go into the mansion that's leaking darkness guys yeah i'm going in it's huh? fine yeah it's probably fine this is probably fine Okay, let's leave. Let's try and see if Shadowheart can do it. Because Shadowheart seems immune. What? Hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah, she can't be protected. But maybe I can see something. In here. That's worth snatching really quickly okay we're gonna do a dash action we're gonna peek in here keep pushing I know I know you're gonna keep pushing okay seems to be just gold and a bed and we're gonna walk straight out of here there you go now, Carlac, you have strength. Turn. What am I to do? Yeah. Enter. And we're gonna steal that treasure chest. We're gonna steal that treasure chest really quickly in there, because I don't know. I don't know much, but I know 
A good treasure chest when I see it. Pick up, add to wares. Then take a dash action. I'm so smart, guys. Get the fuck out of there. Let's <sighs> see if Freddy Krueger lives there. <laughs> look, look, it worked out. I stole. I, I, I have committed the high ray robbery. Shadowheart, stop, stop. Okay, fine. You're, you're fine. You're fine, I guess. Okay. Now let's get that chest that I just grabbed. It's opulent. And now I will magic D, magic -y do, open the fucking lock. Can't keep me out. 16. Oof, that's a big one. I don't think I'll make it. Oh, close though. Eh. Gonna use one more of these tools. I know that's probably a bad idea. I could do that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, I had already won. Oh well. Okay. What's in the box? Let's get three bonuses to stealth check. I'm gonna send that to camp. I'm not sure if that was worth it, but it was definitely interesting. <clears throat> huh. Oh well. Well, I found the secret. Not sure what to make of it though. Don't know if it was actually that interesting. Forward. Let's get out of the shadow curse though. Oh, there's another area over here. I gotta crawl. I gotta. I, I have to stick. I'm legally required to stick my nose everywhere where it doesn't belong. Be legally. Literally, my character keeps saying I'm cursed to put my hands on everything. And I think I will. It would be a lie if I don't. Can't be lying to people. Gotta stay in character. Must touch all things. Now I'm gonna be- there's traps. There's clearly fucking traps. They're not even hidden. They're right there. And I- should I just go around the traps? I feel like as a group I can't, but maybe if we split up and we take the steps one at a time. Uh, Carl should be first. Yourself. Let's what take next? it one step at a time, avoiding the traps. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh wait, someone's sobbing. Oh no, someone's crying. Yeah. Wait, stopping everything. We gotta talk to the crying woman. Let's go. Surely she can use some comforting titties. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's prob- her husband's probably dead. Her wife might be dead. Her child could be dead. And I'm just- I can't. Oh, oh I'm uh, I'm well, a, I'm a piece of fucking work. Not as bad as it could have. Very well. Hey, Bex. Please, I just want to be alone. Oh, I'm so sorry. I remember Bex. Was gone. Oh. Cultists. It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I'll get them. To get away. But my love. 
gun is. Martin Dool, Roshan. How did you I've go? always been good at running. Unlike Tanis. I think I actually I do remember her. I didn't realize one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could have said goodbye. I think I can do the help. Not unless you can bring him back. Can you? If I find him. Uh, I, I'll try and find him. I wish I could have ordered that. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. I'll bring you back either him or his corpse. Dennis. I can bring back one or the other. One day, I'll catch a break. They were the cute couple. Oh, no! Okay, I have to find him. I have to find him. I'll find them. You know what? Let's go over here first. Because there's a break right here. And I don't want to take forever avoiding the traps. There's probably a circle around. Karlak, you take the lead. You're the one with the magical glowing sword. Welcome to the shadows again. While I'm at it. Huh. For some reason, this this feels like a special spot. This feels like something's gonna happen here one day. But not today. Oh, I wonder. Any fish? Any fresh fish? Ooh, fresh fish! How are you encumbered by fucking fish? Well, maybe it's because I make you carry so many hammers. Uh, maybe you should put down some of the hammers. Um, two, six. One, ten, plus one, eight. I think this does... Strikes fear in it. Printing and gaining hit points. Thunder. Okay, this one I'm gonna send. Send to camp. There we go. And, um... What am I carrying? Oh, am I carrying all the food? Uh... Why- why must I be burdened to carry everything? Oh, I should sell things. I should sell things soon. Oh well. There's a shop- place to sell stuff. Just over there. I'll get it- get her there in a second. Glad to see someone in this place got a proper burial. I know, right? Congrats. What's this? And look, moss. Wait, is this part of the Shadowfell curse? This forest looks more natural. This doesn't look like it's cursed. Can't slow down. It looks like it's too close to the curse for comfort, but it's not cursed. Yeah. Oh, no, nope, it is cursed. Never mind. It is in fact a cursed woods. Moving it. It is probably just the beginning of the curse. Ah. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm just peeking in the open grave. I'm not breaking in, I swear. Motherfucker. All right. What now? See you, lady. All right, I'm summoning my dog. Hey, ah! listen! I said, see you. I saw you. You're gonna be the death of me, I swear. I swear. Let's move. Hmm. Let's have a look. Well, that was a survival check, Bill. 
Huh. I probably missed the treasure chest because it doesn't seem like there's anything too dangerous in here. Okay, so there was really nothing over here. Cool. Let's get the fuck out of here and go back to the inn. No, we have to go in the inn. Okay, there's a shop this direction. Up for discussion. Okay, we need to find a small child. A if small you're child. All right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Let's see who is. I got so much bullshit. Look at this. Silver goblet. Fucking shoes. I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna keep keep the tasteful shoes. I've been wearing sandals. Uh, anything else of value or interest? Yeah, sell that. Sell that. I got so many rings. Scorching rays. Around the target, that could be interesting. Okay. I gotta give people shit. I'm just gonna sell that mushroom. And that goblet. Where am I needed? Oh, and the spear. Perfect. Sharp as ever. Uh, you got anything I wanna want you to sell? Nah. Let's get on with it. Uh, nothing of any particular interest. We don't have smite, we don't have that. Story. Okay, and sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Yeah, all three of them. Um, sell that. Is there anything else? I mean, This is just so not good. Eh. Sell that. Sell those old boots that you don't use no more. Sell that. Sell that. <sighs> okay, I think we sold everything. Oh, this. It's a cool glove, but I don't think they're needed. We got better shit. And is there anything else of any value from the shop that I want? Lair bears their weakness after dealing down. No. Mm, I don't think there's anything I want here. There's potato stock. There's potato dish. Eh. Boring. Solo the scene. Disguised up to four members of an adventuring party? That actually sounds interesting. Huh. If these are rare spells. Mayhaps. Half second. Oh, nope. Huh? No, that's not what I wanted. No? Ah! I 
I think it's glitched. Oh well. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I think that's it. At least value-wise. Maybe I buy a potion? Probably not though. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go. Take care now. I will. Oh, there's something right here. No. Yeah. It's just saying explore. explore. Okay, we need to find a, a brat and then we'll get shit going. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Can we make it home? Burning through our oil, but she'll just about do. Just about. We need a kid. Thunder at the finest stop. A little brat. A little munchkin, if you will. Here we go. Is there anything I need to tell you, by the way, before I forget? He keeps saying Thaniel's name. He must know more. We need to rouse him. I don't deserve you, my friend. Yeah, you don't. Is there... Don't I have, like, a scroll of reading thoughts? Don't I? Detect thoughts. Let's save and try that. Oh, that would be interesting. Let's save. Scroll of detect thoughts. He keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speak. I don't. Okay, that was a waste of a spell scroll. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I'm itchy. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. I actually might take like a five minute break. Actually, I think that might be a good idea. Uh, I need a refill my water glass. I just, I kind of want to find this little kid first. That's the problem. I, I want to see if I can talk to this little kid before shit gets a little fun. Oh, there you are. Okay, perfect. I'll talk to the kid. And then we'll, I'm going to take like a five minute break. Nice strategy back there. Mm, if oh. we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Baldur's Gate. But Raphael's offered me a partnership already and it... Seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. No, kid. No. Are kind of enough trouble with those. You should stay away from that one. I'm gonna give that a try. If our kind looked out for one another, we wouldn't need to deal with devils. Exactly, did you Protection for me and my kids, that's all. Not that it's any of your business. I'm not poking my nose into whatever trade you made with him. Didn't make a trade. He's just trying to tempt me. Looked like he was doing a pretty good job. If I had to deal with gods and worms in my head, I'd make a deal with anyone. Look, you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. Now there's no grove, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal, maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice, not the devil's, and not yours. I do want to try that with... I was preferring the... I really want to, I'm going to talk to you, but I really want, thinking I should prefer the um, other option, the persuasion one. Of one of the worst things about getting old, watching kids make the same exact mistakes you made, 
and knowing there's absolutely nothing you can say to change their mind. Then again, Mole's a hell of a lot smarter than I was at that age. Maybe she'll figure it out. She is really smart, though. Damn fucking kids. Yeah, she will. True enough. She'll go far in the city. We've just got to get her there safely. I'm going to save this. And I'm okay with have with this being the ending. But I really do want to see what happens if I can persuade. Uh, uh, more of... Curiosity. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's okay. I have a feeling she'll have a very similar response because they want to dangle this over our heads. Like, oh, she could make the bad deal and it's up to your choices. Oh. But I doubt. No, kid. No. Rafa is a real little devil. Eh. Let's see. I'm so very persuasive. Those charisma checks. You... You aren't joking. Oh, I kind of believe in more now than I did a minute ago. <clears throat> oh my god. The reload. Reload. Let's, let's just not even bring that up. Damn fucking kids. I can't even sometimes. When I was a little kid, I used to hate people like Mo. Like, absolutely. When I was also a little kid. Because they were the leader and they were the strong one and they did their best, best to protect everyone. But they would hurt all, everyone that was their, part of their group. And I respected that, but they would also, everyone who wasn't part of their group, those types of kids, they, they know that the, everyone else is the enemy. And for, I was never one of those kids who was like, the, uh, who had someone like Mo to protect them. I was always an outsider, not really quite in there, not sure if it's a threat, not sure if it, oh sure if it's a good thing so they would just come off as a scary and aggressive to me plus they're just so fucking stubborn i don't do i don't i'm stubborn enough for the people in my life i don't need more stubborn people but yeah hopefully she'll be good premium trinkets and doodles she's got she's got a she's got smarts i'll get that 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 Primitive is clear mom the good part. We'll leave soon. We don't want any surprises. Okay. Yes, Mom. So, I'm about to ruin this fucking place. Possibly. Possibly. I haven't decided yet. But. For real. Yeah, honestly. I'm gonna take like a five minute break to refill my water glass. And, uh. Maybe. I don't know. 